Yo, in this video, I'll show you all three chest locations in the new area of the candy factory. Luckily, you don't have to battle any trainers to get to these chests. You can just walk right in and just get all the chests. I'll start off with the easiest ones. The first obvious one is behind this massive hill. You literally cannot miss it. It's in front of this door over here on this middle island in the middle of the chocolate river. On this side of the island, you'll find the first chest and you get a strange substance. What does that do, you may ask? It is basically like an orb of darkness, but it's substance this time. So you can evolve your drama, you can evolve your Kuosu. And yeah, that's the first reward. Probably one of the better rewards here. I might test it at the end of the video if it actually does evolve your doodles. Because it is different to the Orb of Darkness. But the second chest is on the right side of the map. You go from the island back here into this chest. I couldn't see this before because it was so dark. But luckily the shadows are off. And you get 10 Polkadot capsules. Which is very nice. That is the second chest. The third chest is very hard to get to. Because you have to do a lot of parkour. It's on this chocolate waterfall over here. And if you don't know what Polkadot capsules do, they are basically like Ultra Balls in Pokemon. A very high chance of catching the doodle you want to. To get to the third chest, you have to climb all these gumdrops. And just go on this chocolate tree over here. Just park all your way on top of these trees. And get to this hill over here. It's behind this big waterfall. To the right, there is a third chest. This is the hardest one to get to. It took me a while to actually find. And you get the candy heart. This weird object made of candy fits snugly in your hand. And feels as though you'll start beating. It allows a certain doodle to evolve. Now let's see which doodle actually needs this item to evolve. I don't really know, but we'll find out now. I assume Shice is one of them, but we'll see. Luckily I've got a Shice in my party, so we can actually test that. And I've got a Jam Mask. Perfect. Strange substance. No effect right now, it says. What does that mean? I don't really know. The Candy Heart, what do you do? No effect right now. I am very confused. Maybe I have to get Max Friendship? We'll see. Okay, I found out what the items do. The Candy Heart actually evolves Garmelia, which evolves into Candy Legion. I've got an Indigo here, if I evolved it into Garmelia, I would use the Candy Heart on that and actually get Candy Legion once I use it on Garmelia. So that's how you evolve Garmelia into Candy Legion. And the strange substance actually evolves Flaskit. This is Garmelia if you don't know what that is. And Flaskit is the one that has four evolutions. Flyable is by level, Endervol and Exervol we can't get yet. And Noxfile is via the strange substance item. Because the item says something about darkness and that most likely means Noxfile because it's purple. These two though will be a future item we can get. But now we can get Noxfile, the poison type one. So yeah, that's what the items do. You don't need max friendship or anything, you can just straight up evolve it. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe for more. And other than that, bye.